What's going on guys, Commonwealth Snow here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the XFCE desktop environment and also some quite important software as well. I will be using my VirtualBox that I created in my Arch Linux tutorial video, but this will work on any VirtualBox with Arch and also on Metal. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our system is up to date. So we do that by typing in sudo pacman-syu. This will update the system and synchronize the database. As it says, we have some updates, so let's make sure we get them. Now with our system updated, we need to download the packages such as xfce and xorg. So we're going to do this with the following command, sudo pacman-s, we're going to install xorg, which is our uh, display manager, xfce4 and xfce4-goodies, lightdm, which is kind of our like, renderer, without this you, you could, you're just going to boot up into a tty, light dm dash gtk dash greeter we're going to install these just click enter for all of these we're going to install all these packages unless you really know what you're doing this could take a little while depending on your internet connection so don't be scared if it hangs on one of these it should be fine if you just leave it for a little bit Okay, so with all those packages installed, we now need to enable LightDM on startup, otherwise it won't be able to render our desktop environment. So we're going to do this with the following command. sudo system ctl enable LightDM, just like that. And now we can reboot into our system, and it should reboot into our new XFCE desktop environment. And here we go, we're now on the plain black screen XFCE desktop. So you're going to want to select your user if you need to and enter your password. And here we are. A nice, clean, plain XFCE desktop environment. Now, if we go to the terminal here and type in, and let's type in NeoFetch to see how many packages we have installed, we have 434 which is still very, very low compared to other distros. And the amount of memory we're using is very, very minimal. So, so I have a list of some software that I think is quite important to have on any new distribution. So, the software you're gonna to want to download are as follows. So you're gonna to want to type in sudo pacman-s, and you're going to want to type in vim if you haven't already downloaded vim through the installation but if you have then don't worry about it uh, we're going to download firefox for our web browser i think firefox is a very good basic web browser it does everything it needs to it just works and it's very very customizable you're going to want to also download mpv as a video player mpv is a very lightweight video player very bloatless and it also just works for everything I need it to. You've got a video file, just works nicely without any of the bloat involved with other programs like VLC or, God forbid, um, Microsoft. No, what's it called? Windows Media Player. Oh, God. You're going to also want to download HTOP. I think this is pretty self explanatory. HTOP is a. It's kind of like the Linux task manager with none of the bloat. And. I think also you should install GIMP. I think GIMP's a pretty useful program, um, but this one's a bit more optional than the rest of them. I think GIMP uh, really does depend on the type of stuff you do with your computer. And they're going to be the programs we're going to install. Now some honorable mentions would be Steam. 
and also VirtualBox, as VirtualBox allows you to install more operating systems, allows you to use VirtualBoxes, which is what this is running in now, um, and Steam would also allow you to play Steam games. Uh, so if you're into that, of, of course. Um, but since this is in a virtual machine, I won't be installing either of them, but the option is always there for you. And that's the great thing about using Arch Linux. It's a it's a clear play, it's a clean play for you to build your own system. You can install all the programs that you need and nothing more. You can also browse the AUR if you ever get bored for any other programs that you might want to install. I know there are a bunch of plugins for Vim, uh, so you can really make Vim into any kind of uh, text editor or IDE you want. Very customizable. But that's it with the software installed. We can clear that. Let's see if we can full screen this as well. Hmm. I'll have to figure out how to do that later. But uh, now we should have all of our necessary applications installed. Cover over to internet. I really quite like this about XFCE as well. Just on the plain install, it gives you a nice, a nice tab you can hover your mouse over, and it gives you these nice little shortcuts to everything you could need. So as you can see here, we have uh, GIMP installed. We have Firefox installed. We also have MPV installed. So all of the programs you do install, they will get, well, most of them will get grouped into these these kind of tabs within this application. I don't know, I do I do quite like that. It's kind of reminiscent of the old Windows days, kind of Windows XP and stuff like that. Or I think I think Windows 7. Windows Vista, I don't know, they're all the same, I get confused. But that's pretty much it. Um very simple video, just to get you started with your Arch Linux journey. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did Please let me know by liking the video, and if you really enjoyed it, you could even subscribe to the channel. We do stuff like this. We do videos like this pretty much every upload, so videos on Linux and technology and stuff like that. So, Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, everyone, and I will see you later.